Yo guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming back to another episode. So one thing I sh thought I'd share with you guys that I learned in school is something pretty cool. Take a listen to this jet engine. You hear that? You hear that little... Right? It's super weird. What does that sound come from? Well, here's another example used in music. You can hear a little like tinny sound. I, I don't know what the word is for it. Kind of swooshy sound. It's like kind of that. Yeah, that's my imitations of sounds. Anyway, we're gonna be looking at how to model that sound. So let's first download one of the awesome apps that's going to be kind of our dictionary for audio effects like these. It's gonna be the Audio Kit Cookbook. So we're gonna go ahead and open that with GitHub Desktop, which you should have from the previous tutorials. If you haven't, go and check out my latest videos. I had something open before. So normally yours will look like this and then you can just go ahead and clone it. Awesome, cool. So now I always like to do a fetch the origin and then I'll go to my documents folder and go to GitHub, copy that and then paste it. So I have a backup. I'm gonna replace that. Alrighty, let's check it out. So we open up the project inside of Xcode You'll see that there's the audio kit main and then sliders. And there's my iPhone. So I can go ahead and build it for that. I've already kind of built this project, but I encourage you guys to go ahead and build this. You should be able to, everything should be working with the Swift packages. You guys, sorry about this. I just tried to build it on the iPhone and it didn't work out too well um, because I remember I got this error. So yours will look like this, hopefully, if you have Xcode latest version of Xcode 12.2 currently, and also running Mac OS Big Sur. So this bundle ID, I don't think you need to change that, but I'm going to sign in to a developer account, which I'm going to make a separate video on that, on how to do that, how to set that up. But you should have your developer account here. You can look it up on your own too. And once you have that, we're going to also go to Swift packages, there we go. So if I click on this project target and then I click on Swift packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the audio kit and just resync it. Usually that did the trick for me last time. Not sure if this will work for you guys, but just leave your error and I'll try to fix it if you ever get one. So now we're gonna copy that URL, paste it in there. Next, it's gonna ask us what version I'm gonna do uh, branch v5 main click next finish and bam let's try it again let me turn my phone on and look at that looks like it's working all right so i'm on my phone now sorry for the terrible quality and i'm gonna go to general go to device management and approve this you should have it as well and once we do that, then we can go back and we can open the audio kit app. I'm going to say yes, allow it and check it out. We got all these cool effects that are very traditional effects that you'll have. Probably some of you who use Ableton or FL studio will know these, but the one we're focused on today is this flanger. That's what makes the jet engine noise. So I'm going to do the guitar and do a little demo for you guys. So you hear kind of makes that sort of whoosh sound that everybody's talking about. And that is actually something that's accomplished through something as simple as delay. So this is what delay sounds like. You can hear, now it's got the swoosh sound, right? But now as we get 
farther and farther away. It's more discreet. We get resonance frequencies right here. So that's what delay is, and it's very useful for producing these kind of effects that we are going to model. In part two, sorry, I thought I was going to get to it today, but I didn't, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!